Hello, this is Sean from HardcoreProducer.org. No, I'm not Kev Willow. I wish I was. But I'm going to teach you guys, mainly you, Paul Allegro, how to use a filter envelope to get rid of percussion on sampled kicks and whatnot. So first and foremost, take the fruity limiter off of your master channel. Gone. All right. And then you check your samples, and I'm under the Vengeance Hard Kicks, because that's what you guys wanted, 185. If you can hear, it's got that scratch the entire time, and we only want that at the beginning. So you open it up, it's going to take you to your sample editor, where you can do cool stuff like reverse it. So you get cool effects like that. Basically, first thing we're going to do, sorry, so we're going to go to the instrument properties, which is the INS tab. Click that. And it'll start you out on a volume envelope, but you don't want to modify the volume for this. Maybe if you're doing strings or something, you'd want to. But instead, we're going to skip over one over to the cutoff cut, which is what we're going to use to filter all that out. This is the filter envelope right here. So if you go over, click that little light on. That makes it, let's use the envelope. And make sure your del is all the way down, which it should be. Hold should go all the way up. Deck should go all the way down. You decay. Sustain down and release down. So mount we're going to play with in a second, but for now. Oops. That's the sound we're getting. So it's not modified at all. So first, we want when the filter is kicked completely on, we want the cutoff to be completely down. So we're going to turn the modulation all the way down. And so we're going to be modifying the attack here. So drag it way back and listen to what you get. It cuts it off at the very instant. So you let it out a little bit to about the first or the second line. And it suddenly has a nice doesn't have that scratch sound that you the entire time that only has it during the attack. And so you play around with that a little bit. Now it's not helping at all, so around here. And that's how I got that sample, so. And then if you want to do like the, you want to do like kick rolls like like that. Except hardcore 169. But you don't want that nasty tail in the clash. Um, usually can do loop points and stuff with this. But a different, another technique, also crossfade, is nice. Or you can use the arpeggiator. But you have to be careful, because when you use the arpeggiator or uh, crossfade, whichever one you use, you got to send it to the piano roll. Otherwise, it'll just drag on forever. And so. Or you can modify the line. But it's your choice, so. There you go, that's how you use a filter envelope to modify the sound of a sample. Very useful in getting samples out, so there you go.